Hey, everybody. Um, here is where we start to go into three dimensions. It's really fun. So you know how to use shapes in the shapes tool set. You know how to use lines, different lines, straight lines, curved lines, freehand, zigzag lines. You know how to use the eraser tool and the select tool to select different things in your environment. Well, now let's build something that's going to be three dimensional and we're going to start with two dimensional objects. So go to your shapes tool and let's do the simplest of them all, the rectangle. Choose a rectangle and please remember to define the size of it specifically to what you want it to be. So start drawing a rectangle down in the ground as opposed to up in the air like this. Do it flat on the ground and make that rectangle. Um, let's see. Uh, five feet by 10 feet. So type in five apostrophe, comma. You should see it showing up here in the bottom right corner. 10 apostrophe. So now you have five apostrophe, comma, 10 apostrophe. That's five feet this way and five, 10 feet that way. Enter. Now you have something to work with. You have a shape that you can build on. Ready? This is where it gets really cool. Go to the tool below the shapes tool set and it looks like an arrow popping out of a little box and it says push pull. That's the push pull tool set. All three of these things do similar functions, but um, different. So go to push pull and you can see the live time uh, example of it up above me of what it can do. You can basically push pull this, left click it and it becomes dotted. You can pull it up in the air. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now you have a column, a box. Well, you can also pull this side. And anytime you have a three-dimensional object, you can now apply that function to any face of that object. I can orbit around here and pull this wider or this longer. Okay, let's control Z and go back to where it was two-dimensional. I wanna show you something. Here is your rectangle, okay? When you push pull it, you're in control of how far it gets push pulled, okay? And by pulling, we mean, um, you know, you can pull it underground if you want or push it up in the air. Click it, pull it up and look at the distance measurement here. The distance is from its beginning point to where you want it to end up. And if I've got something that says about three feet or four feet right now and I want to make it 10 feet, what are you going to do? Right. Let go. Type in the height you want to push pull it. 10 apostrophe. Enter. Boom. It is 10 feet high. And it is the size that we define the rectangle to be in the first place. That same function with push pull, defining how far you want to pull it, is applied to every tool in the left hand toolbar. If you go to do it, let go and type in how far you want it to do that thing. Okay? And then that way you take more control over this environment. The same thing goes with circles. Draw a circle. You can turn a two-dimensional circle shape with the push pull into a three-dimensional cylinder. That's fun. How far do you want to push pull it? Make it five feet, five apostrophe enter. And it's going to be half the height of this one because I think we typed in 10 feet. See? So that's a way you can use the push pull tool with different shapes. It's pretty fun.